In this video, we're going to show you how to fix the problem when your iPhone is stuck in sauce mode. It's, it's without SOS. SOS mode, without needing to download mediocre third-party software. When your iPhone says SOS or SOS only, it isn't connected to a wireless network, but you can still make emergency phone calls. Most of the time, your iPhone will say SOS or SOS only when it's out of range of your carrier's network. So to fix the problem, you'll need to go somewhere where there is coverage. But sometimes your iPhone can still get stuck on SOS mode even when you should have coverage. Let's talk about how to fix that problem. The first step is airplane mode. Quickly toggling airplane mode off and back on again gives your iPhone a fresh chance to connect to your carrier's network. I'll open the settings app on my iPhone and then just turn on this switch next to airplane mode, wait a few seconds, then turn it off again. Alternatively, you can go into Control Center on my iPhone, swiping down from the upper right-hand corner of the screen. If your iPhone has a home button, swipe up from the very bottom to the center of the screen, and then tap on this airplane mode icon. Now it's on, icon is illuminated. You can tap it again to turn it off. Next, check your iPhone's data roaming settings. This is important when you're traveling, and especially important when you're traveling internationally. In the iPhone settings app, we can tap cellular, then cellular data options, and we have this switch where we can turn data roaming on or off. Data roaming used to be a thing. Most of the time today, especially in the US, it isn't. There are some T-Mobile areas where they still have roaming, but the unlimited plans don't generally. So you can usually just leave the switch on. But if you're traveling internationally, you gotta be careful because you could rack up a huge phone bill. If that doesn't work, the next thing to check for is a carrier settings update. These updates are released by Apple or your wireless carrier to improve your iPhone's connection to your carrier's network. When a carrier settings update is available, you'll see a lot of pop-ups on your iPhone. Usually you have the choice to tap either update or not now. You can also manually check for a carrier settings update in the settings app on your iPhone. Let's tap back to the main page of settings. Then tap general, tap about, and wait here for about 10 to 15 seconds. If a carrier settings update is available, that pop-up will appear on the screen. If it isn't available, nothing will happen. In which case, the next step is to restart your iPhone, which can fix a minor software problem. So if your iPhone has Face ID, simultaneously press and hold the side button and either volume button until slide to power off appears on the screen. Then swipe that power icon from left to right to shut down your iPhone. If you have an iPhone without Face ID, just press and hold the power button until slide to power off appears. Wait 15 to 30 seconds, then press and hold the power button or the side button to reboot your iPhone. I could listen to you say that all day long. Yeah. Couldn't you? While your iPhone is rebooting, we want to tell you about channel memberships. Our channel members get PDFs for our videos so they can follow along at their own pace. It's also a great way for you to say thank you to us for saving you a trip to the Apple Store. Click that join button below this video to become a channel member and get access to a whole bunch of great perks. If your iPhone is still stuck in SOS mode, it's time to eject and reinsert your iPhone SIM card. On an iPhone 13 Pro, which this one is, I'll just grab my SIM card ejector tool. If you don't have one lying around, or you don't carry one on your keychain. What are you doing? I know, right, seriously, get with the program. But if you don't carry one of these on your keychain, you could just use a paper clip, just undo a paper clip. Just straighten it out. Straighten it out. So I'm gonna take my SIM tool and stick it into the hole on the side of my phone, just press down until the little SIM tray ejects itself. Then I can take out the SIM tray. Well, this one now, doesn't pretend, have a SIM card. Pretend there's a SIM card in there and inspect your SIM card for any damage. You know, that could be the problem. You don't have a SIM card in your phone, but if you do, make sure it is nicely packed into the SIM tray. Push that SIM tray back into your phone and see if it fixes the problem. All right, so I'll put it back in. I like to press down and then run my thumb along the side of it just to make sure, get that waterproof seal happening. Now you might be sitting at home in America with your iPhone 14 or newer saying, wait a minute, I don't have a SIM card tray. What am I supposed to do? Good question, David. Apple made the dumb decision to get rid of SIM trays just in America. The EU was gonna sue them or something. So they said, okay, we'll just do it to the Americans and make your life more difficult. But in this case, it's actually not too hard. In this case, we just tap back to the main page of settings. Then tap cellular. And you'll see this turn on this line switch. I have a 14 Pro with Verizon eSIM. I can just toggle that switch off, wait five seconds, then just tap on this again and then tap turn on this line. The next step is to update your iPhone. 
Some iOS updates include bug fixes or modem updates that help improve your iPhone's connection to the wireless network. Let's tap back to the main page of settings, heading back to general, tap software update, and then if an update is available, tap download and install. Also in general configuration profiles, when I went to Ireland with my mom, I'm a great son, brought her to Ireland, came home, SOS only. What was going on? Well, I had downloaded a configuration profile in Ireland to make the phone work with their wireless networks. But then when I got back to the US, phone wasn't working at all. Turns out it was the configuration profile. Let's tap back to our general settings in the upper left hand corner of the screen, then scroll down to VPN and device management, tap on that and look for any configuration profiles underneath the configuration profile heading. Let's say for example, this baseband and telephony, 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 telephony? I don't know. Pretend this is your Irish cell phone plan configuration profile. If we tapped on that, we could just tap remove profile to get rid of it. And hopefully that'll fix the problem for you. If you don't have any configuration profiles installed on your iPhone, it's time to talk about a deeper software fix. And that fix is reset network settings. This reset resets all of your iPhone's Wi-Fi, APN, VPN, and cellular settings to factory defaults. Before you do this, make sure you know your home Wi-Fi password because reset network settings erases all the Wi-Fi passwords from your iPhone. Let's tap back upper left-hand corner of the screen and back to our general settings. Then below VPN and device management, we have transfer or reset iPhone. Let's tap on that. Then tap reset, reset network settings. Your phone will turn off, perform the reset, and then turn itself back on again. And if your iPhone is still stuck in SOS mode, it's time to reach out to Apple or your wireless carrier. But who should they reach out to first, David? Well, they'll probably just point the finger at one another. They'll blame each other and you're left, you know, I don't know. We recommend going to your wireless carrier first, and they're pretty responsive on social media if you just tweet at their support accounts. I don't think they like having all those negative tweets about, oh, hey, my iPhone is in SOS only mode. Reach out to your carrier first, see if they can fix the problem. David is right. You need to make sure there isn't a problem with your account that's preventing your phone from connecting to your carrier's network. Maybe your ex just deactivated your entire cell phone plan. That could do this. Just don't listen to them if they say it's an iPhone, just go to the Apple store because an Apple store can't fix account problems. But if your account is in a good standing, everything looks good from your carrier's end, head to the Apple store. It is unlikely, but you know, a hardware problem could cause this sure. issue if you dropped your phone in the lake, ran it over with your car, or you know, just dropped it on the pavement while you were walking your dog. And I'm pretty sure that Apple stores can still replace the SIM card in your phone. So don't listen to them if they just say, oh, it's a Verizon problem, go away but they probably won't. I, we, we didn't do that at the Apple store. And once you have service on your phone again, check out our next video to learn about nine hacks to boost your cell phone signal so you never get stuck in that terrible SOS only mode again. We'll see you there. In this video, we're going to show you what to do when your iPhone is stuck on SOS mode without needing to download third-party software. Uh, okay.